Hello, and welcome back to our RimWorld series. I was going to start it off and say that uh, our robots finally have some names. I took your comments and named them. Um, but so far, I'm only going to introduce you to uh, Athena, who was originally Cleo. She is one of our, uh, well, not one of our, but she's our primary, like, fighting android. But before we get to introducing everybody else, we have a problem. We have a huge infestation for crashed ship chunks inside of our perimeter and then two on the outside and I would have shown you the super cool explosion of them landing but I was not recording but anyways I figured we'd go ahead and deal with that I've set up a few defenses because uh our our wealth kind of kind of skyrocketed <laughs> over the last couple of you know weeks so uh, I'm a little scared for this but Go ahead and get into position here. See how this goes. Hopefully not too bad. And we'll go ahead and have Einar start us start us off here. Oh god. I was gonna say it's lagging. <laughs> oh god, it's lagging some more. What's going on? What? Oh! While a raid happens. Cool. Well at least I can sh <laughs> I can I could show you the cool arrival for this one. Well, all right. Hello, friends. I'm assuming they're attacking right away. Uh, maybe not. Hey, you guys stay over there. Go, go after them. Oh, they're actually coming down here. Cool. Take care of those bugs. Anyways, back to the problem at hand. Good old turrets. Um, action bastard. Go ahead and show him it's not worth getting into melee with us. Or not. Okay, we're doing so good. Uh, Astromo, I don't know why you're over here, but since you're over here now, go ahead and help us. Uh, Sticks, go ahead and pick up your guns, please. Oh, man. Well, we dealt with this infestation pretty good. Too bad, like, this corner of our base is now on fire, but that's all right, because sometimes fire good. All right, we got to move in, though. We gotta make sure we're taking them out through the fire and the flames. I think our interior of our base is secure. Let's go ahead and get this fire beat out. And it looks like uh, these guys have gone ahead and engaged our other bug problem. Hmm. Well, before they get too comfy, let's go ahead and go up here and get our melee kill box ready to go. Because everyone else should be able to take care of that fire. Because I'm sure these bugs aren't going to last too much longer against these guys. Whoa, that dude's got a cool red sword. Red sword. Sword. Corey in the house. But not for much longer, it looks like. Well, those bugs definitely did not pose a, pose a problem to them. But now I imagine they're going to start bashing through our doors, yes? Indeed they are. Please get there in time, friends. Uh. Don't, don't attack that wall. I will... I will gladly let you guys through if you give me a minute. All right, let me get my guys situated for a second here. Hey guys, don't worry. I'm opening the door for you and inviting you in. Ow. Uh, Athena, please do not shoot Einar in the back of the head. Thank you. Hey, stop attacking our walls. I have opened the doorway for you. Hey, no need to go all the way around. Y you, you guys can come through the front door. Okay, you guys gotta make this hard, don't you? Well, if that's what you'd like, bird, 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 bird is the word. No, you're dead. And Anna is next, because we're Spartans. Robot Spartans! Cory in the house tonight. And now you're dead tonight. Where are you guys going? How about... How about no? Come back. Come back. Hey, bird. How's it going? Are you feeling all right? You know, since we're right here, let's go ahead and just strip you, and now you're naked. And then we can pick up all your stuff later. Cool beans, huh? Thing is about to have a mood break, so I'm going to go ahead and tell her to go chill, play some cards or something. Because it looks like our uh, friends are going to try and break in at another part. So we'll go ahead, get our... Oh, something exploded, methinks. Yeah, looks like they're definitely going to break in up here. Let's take care of Fugly here, and then uh, and then we'll go and uh, greet our guests in the other part of the base. 
Fugly, you're in a surprise once you get around that corner. Oh, no. See, that's not how this is going to work out. Please get in his face and shank him. And that was the story of Fugly, everyone, and how he... Oh. Fugly survived. Okay. But that's the story of Fugly, everyone. Well, I guess now's a good time to introduce Siri. Uh, Siri was our... What was she? I think she was our doctor? Yeah, because she's so helpful. Well, anyways, what happened was uh, she uh, had a mental break, and then she decided to fight our muffalo. So now she's down on the ground. But, you know, here's Siri, everybody. And unfortunately, it looks like some of our friends made it inside of our base here, so we're going to have to deal with them now. Trudy, you stay away from those generators. Yeah, come in here. Coming this summer, Guillermo assaulting this rim fortress and instantly dying. Looks like they have given up and they are leaving. Which that's quite all right. We were handling them fairly well, but they did uh, they did kind of break through our defenses a little bit. That's all right. Just kind of showed me a couple of places where I got to work on my defenses, so, you know, always a use for that. But uh yeah, oh man, hoo yay. He uh, just took a headshot like a boss and uh, they're still moving along. I tell you what, in all my days, I've never seen an assault robot ride a muffalo like that. Just that that board just ain't right. Well, and the good news always with infested ship chunks is uh, that's more components and uh, steel for us. So yeah, and also even better, now we've got some more insect DNA. Wonderful. Speaking of insects, our wolf scarab was finally born. Doesn't he look like such a cute best doggo? He was such a best boy. Well, actually, mm, he is best girl. But still, best boy regardless. We'll have many. We'll probably call this one Fluffy. Looks very huggable. Hey, and now we got our new cooking android in. Chef Boy RD. You know, that, that was meant as a temporary name, but uh, that might be permanent name. But you know, as always, comment down below. You find any cool names or think of any cool names, put them in that comments down below. I'll look at it, probably respond to it, and we'll uh, see about naming some droids. Now, a couple of days ago, we did have a uh, strange crash site land semi-close to our base. Looks like it's probably like a uh, day and a half away, something like that. Said it was some kind of uh, humani humanoid projectile. I'm gonna go ahead and have my, uh, have all my robots check it out. Well, not all my robots, but all my assault robots check it out. Won't leave as much defense at the base, but we did just deal with a couple of raids, so I'm hoping we won't have one for a while. And if it looks bad, then we will uh, send Athena in a uh, dropship. Alrighty, brave troops. Go and report the issue to us and find out what it is. And as always, if we can't understand what it is, then shoot it. And our group of... Assault robots are just about there at that crash site we were mentioning. It's going to be Dr. Manhattan or something like that. Gawken, a T5 android. Oh, so it's just uh, an android that could join me. We are here. So we might as well, um, you know, fight these guys. Maybe we can do something. Worst case scenario, we can uh, break them down for parts, I guess, if we wanted to keep to this challenge of we only have the ones that, like, we make. But he has a T5 android, and I'm pretty sure I cannot make those unless one of my mods enable me to. But, uh, first of all, let's, let's, let's worry about one thing at a time. Let's go ahead and, uh, free this guy. Oh, don't undraft. Oh, this is about to be bad for you guys. You guys have, like, wooden swords and a crossbow and an axe. Yeah, it's, it's, it's about to be a bad day for you guys. To them they're probably like oh no the metal gods are angry horse stay out of this I like how that horse is like not phased at all by the fact that like all these guns are going off he's just like yeah i'm a horse doing horse things i don't mind do as you please well no, i'm not entirely sure what they expect me to do with gakken here it says he's rebooting so i don't know maybe if they expect us to uh defend him until that point, but uh, I guess we might wait and see. Well, this is exactly what we uh, implemented this system for. Uh, go ahead and launch Athena that way so she can, uh, you know, heal, uh, heal Gakken. See ya! And here she comes to save the day! Athena's like, 
Boom, hello, did someone need help? Please, tell me where it hurts. Stabilize. Okay, so definitely healing Gakun has increased the speed at which he's rebooting. Let's just hope that when he, uh, you know, boots up, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't do something like, Remember primary objective, kill all robotic and sentient life. Oh, and Gakun just, I guess he, his rebooting's up to 100% and now he's just, he's, he's walking off. He, he's a very grumpy old man. He is 5,478 years old and 11 days. So he's probably just like, thanks for the rescue, you young whippersnappers. Now get off my lawn. Well, all right, friends. I guess that answers that question on whether we're keeping him or not, so I guess it's time to pack it up and go. Now, I wanted to do this a little earlier, but uh, I kind of let things get the best of me with all the action going on. We did rename some of our bots. I did see your comments. Uh, Bravo was renamed to Bishop, even though I primarily made him a construction and a uh, mining droid android. He actually has burning passions in quite a few things, so, you know, figured I'd name him Bishop. You know, from Bishop from the Alien series. He's, you know, pretty good all-arounder. Uh, Siri is our doctor because she's supposed to be helpful, but she's also got burning passion and intelligence, so she's going to help with that. Our animals also got named. The female German Shepherd that we got in the first batch, uh, that's pretty much what we've been uh, birthing all of our other German Shepherds. Her name is Sojourner. And then the male, that's the father of the rest of them, he's Einstein. Also got our... Muffalo, another commenter. Oh god, he just had a roof collapse on him. Sorry, her. Uh, her name is Bantha. You know, because we're going with the sci-fi theme on stuff. Wow, Bantha is about to bleed out, so we definitely need to uh, fix that. Please uh, save Bantha. I just introduced her. And surprise, surprise, another troop ship has landed way off in the distance. And at this point, I've pretty much well ignored them. I can't wait until that bites me in the rear when, you know, like 200 mechanoids show up and uh, pretty much will end my story there. But I guess that's a bridge that we'll uh, wait to cross when we actually get there. It finally happened. The Forbidden Love. Albrecht charmed Siri by joking about self-replicating machines. Siri became aroused and agreed to become Albrecht's lover. Well, and it looks like that our caravan arrived just in time because we have another infected ship chunk. This time with visuals. Please not right. Uh, right into the battery room. Yeah. That was not cool. That was that 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 actually sucked. That's that no. That was not very cash money. This may be potentially bad, but we're gonna go ahead and commit to the old Spartan strategy. Oh God, sticks get out of the way. Ha ha, do you like fire? Uh, Tupperware, it's pretty awesome that you're on that German Shepherd shooting these guys, but how about like not so far in the distance? Yes, how dare you destroy my batteries? You dang dirty bugs. Yeah. Numbers don't mean crap in a situation like this, do they? <laughs> do you think? Uh, do you think the robots take it personally that uh, that like all these batteries just got uh, like got wiped out? Do you think they take that as like you have destroyed our food source, you have destroyed our sustenance? All right, well, cool. Bugs are uh, bugs are taken care of now. Plate, uh, except for that one, I guess that one got back up and was like, "Hey, I destroyed your batteries. You shot at me. We're cool now." Um, I don't, I don't think that's how that works. Uh, guys, please, um, please wallop the crap out of this thing. Yeah, please. Like, like, don't, don't shoot it. Just, just go up to it and smack its butt. Oh, okay. Well, um, this time, can you like, make sure it stays down? Please? That's just so it doesn't get back up? Yeah? No? Okay. See you guys later, I guess. An incubator has had... Wait, what is that thing? Whoa, aberrant flesh beast. Yeah. Sometimes, uh... Sometimes when you combine DMA, you get something like that. Never actually had that happen before. But, uh, yeah. It's basically an, abom an abomination to nature times dose. Like, even worse. I'm sorry, little one, but this is how it has to be.
I don't know what you're going to metamorphosize into, but... All I know is that's never usually a good thing. And now my German Shepherds are all, uh... Falling over from exhaustion, probably because they're being ridden by... Like... You know, a ton and a half assault droids. Robots. Whatever they're called. I get those mixed up. Before we end the episode, I think there's one thing that we should do. This cruiser over here was the first cruiser that we went to investigate, and we were solely just completely outmatched, outgunned everything. I think it's time to take it out. It's gonna take them two days to get there. I'm gonna send all my assault droids. We're gonna do kind of like we did with the other one. Might be a little dangerous, but uh, I think we'll survive. We'll keep Athena here, and then if it looks nasty, we'll send her in, help her fight, and uh, we'll go from there, see how it goes. Hopefully we won't have to retreat this time. Hello, cruiser ship. Remember us? You're doomed. We're not gonna mess around. We're just gonna go straight in. I do have Athena on standby, but she is also uh, manning a mortar right now. Well, she's on her way there. Once again, don't know if it's going to do anything, but I suppose any fire support is better than none, because I do not believe, uh, never mind, this one does have a shield. We'll have to get into that one's face and take that out real quick. Luckily, we're on the side where there are no uh, mechanoids, so we can kind of uh, pop in under that shield and hopefully take it out. And of course, this time the mortars are like super, uh, you know, super inaccurate. Because they fear us. They fear what we have become. Uh, that's not cool. Stones, you okay? Oh God, oh God, okay. We might have to back up just a little bit. Woohoo! Alright, well we took out one of those charge lances. Hey, and the other one too. So we should be semi-okay. Well, Stones is gonna get fried. Get out of there, Stones! Oh no, Stone Athena's on her way. But you need to get away, dude! Just run. I wish you would keep running, Stone, please. <laughs> you, get in his face. You, get in his face. Action bastard, the call for action is nigh. Yes, get them. Uh, attack them please. Launch pod ready. All right, launch right there. Transport pods have arrived. All right. We brought the goods, All right? Stones, I know it may not be what you're accommodated to, but you, you need to get into the sleeping spot so I can perform emergency surgery on you. Everyone else, keep going. Guys, Tin, tin Can has got this. Go and... Oh, for a second, I was about to shoot that guinea pig. Oh, God! They're coming after us. Shoot him anyways! Get him quick! All right. That one was coming at me kind of rough. Oh, God! So is that one. Get it! They're all over the place! Okay, joking aside, we need, we need to destroy some of this stuff. Athena, you got this, girl. Area revealed. Yes, the mountain blew up. Yes. Uh, that's not cool, my friend. I should probably get in its face so it can't uh, shoot at me. Huh. Oh, I think that thing will shoot at me no matter what. Well, that's alright. Hey, you guys should... Oh, please get away. Oh, please get away. Uh, you two, please get away. How big is this explosion going to be? Oh, okay. That's not bad. Go back in that one's face. You shoot at this one. Okay, I guess Sticks is going to shank you. Yeah! Get away, Sticks! You two, action! Yes! Oh, that... Uh... Hello? Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> All right, everything's on fire. But hey, looks like Stone's gonna make it. Oh yeah! Ooh, this is a cargo container. We haven't seen that yet. Maybe there are some nice goodies on the inside. Cause it looks like we got some gold. Oh, and s red wood. I was about to say some red looking wood. It is literally called red wood. Nice. All right, well, nothing really in that cargo container. That's kind of a bummer, but that's all right. We have roughly three days to get all this stuff sorted out, get people healed up, and then head back to base before reinforcements arrive. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull a big brain move 
and uh, make that go a little faster. I'm going to go ahead and send Stromo with some fuel. We have plenty of components and steel on site, and we're just going to we're going to make some Travis port pods here and uh, send stuff back just so that we don't have to carry it. Yeah, there's a Stromo looking cool with his heavy SMG. Yeah. First pot on the way. Next pod on the way. Next pod away. And another one. And another one. And another one. And then we sent one back the other way. And then finally, I sent two just to mix it up. But those last two contain Athena, since uh, she kind of slows the convoy down, since she cannot continuously move, and then the uh, worker bot that we brought along, because our uh, assault, our assault bots can pretty much will just keep moving through the night because they don't care. But we took everything. We uh, we're like scavenger. Okay, I say we took everything as I left that uh, structural beam. But I mean, we took everything. We took all the robots. We took all almost all the steel, all the components, everything. Uh, yeah, like, we, not only did we show up and kick their butts, but we, uh, <laughs> we, we stole all their stuff. Well, anyways, we got a lot of things done today, so that's awesome. We took out a cruiser, and now we know we can pretty much, will fight them, uh, pretty good. And they can even be a source of components and steel and plasteel and gold and a bunch of other good stuff. So I have a feeling on the next episode, we're gonna start, uh, we're gonna start hunting some of them down. Hardware update be damned we're we're coming after him but if you uh, watch the entire video thank you i do greatly appreciate that and i will see you in the next video talk to you later bye